All right guys, Chris from Rack Up and Go here, and behind me I've got the original Power Kit, but this video is actually going to be talking about all the improvements that EcoFlow has made with the Power Kit 2 launching later this year. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so one of the first features I want to cover is that the original Power Kit had a 3600 watt continuous output limit. So 30 amps at 120 volts. The new unit, Power Kit 2, is going to go up to 5000 VA or 5 kVA, which is a nice way of saying 5000 watts. So when you talk about VA, it's volts times amps. What it's trying to convey is that, you know, it'll do 5000 watts, but it's not taking into account power factor. So when you're seeing VA, you can kind of just assume, all right, it's 5000 watts. The other improvements are the DC output. So the 12 volt DC output is getting a 30% increase going from 1000 watts to 1300 watts. And if you're choosing to use the 24 volt output, that's jumping up to 1600 watts. You'll also notice I've got all three battery ports occupied down here. So battery one, battery two, battery three is actually being used to run a set of 48 volt bus bars to run a 48 volt AC. With the new power kit, there's actually what's known as the parallel hub, and that allows you to take a connection from here and it expands it to hold three batteries. So you can have 15 kilowatt hours on this port, 15 kilowatt hours on this port, and 15 kilowatt hours on this port for a total of 45 kilowatt hours going into the power kit. Now, most people are looking to run a 48 volt AC, so it does allow you to run a 30 kilowatt hour system, which is massive, except for maybe a really large RV. But for a van, 30 kilowatt hours is plenty, and you still have this 48 volt port here to either run 48 volt AC or a smart generator. One omission that EcoFlow did have on the power kit too is this 20 amp AC outlet here. And I'll be honest with you, I've never really used this. And what they'd swapped it out for was another AC input to be able to handle up to 50 amps running to your distribution center. Speaking of the distribution panel, we have six breakers on the original power kit. On the power kit two, that distribution panel is going to 12 breakers and we have 12 DC circuits that we can run, but on the new distribution panel, that's actually going up to 16 DC circuits. So quite a few improvements there. The next upgrade that Power Kit 2 offers is this EcoFlow console is going to what is known as the Power Insight tablet. And that's going to a seven inch version, then also a 10 inch version. Now you'll notice something on this board that isn't necessarily an EcoFlow product. And that's gonna be this guy right here. This is a Victron Energy BMB712. It's essentially a battery monitor. It's a current shunt that you mount in line. And what this is doing, or was doing in my case, was triggering either a normally open or normally closed relay. And basically it's a signal wire. And so what I had this set up to do was actually send a signal once it reached a certain state of charge to a mid-city auto start stop to automatically remote start the vehicle and start charging using a secondary alternator. So one thing that EcoFlow really improved on was including this new PowerLink module that will also feed in data to the new Power Insight tablets. This PowerLink will take sensor data from resistive sensors, so for holding tanks, water monitors, um, it'll do voltage-based sensors, It'll have that normally open, normally closed relay option and RVC communication ports for direct integration with things like mid-city auto start stop or a secondary alternator regulator if you're using an externally regulated secondary alternator, which most of the 48 volt options are externally regulated. When we talk about externally regulated alternators, one issue that comes up with these power kits is that there's not a lot of communication out of their own CAN bus network. So these external regulators, if the BMS were to suddenly disconnect and you had that external regulator still calling for a field on that alternator, what would happen is a very large voltage spike. In a 12 volt alternator case that's externally regulated, if that field's still applied when the load is removed, we're talking excess of 200 to 250 volts. If you had that fed into your MPPT or your alternator port, that will blow it up. That's 250 volts hitting that. It's a very short burst. We're talking milliseconds, but it's enough of a voltage spike to cause that to fail. 
And so that's the big risk there. When you get into 48 volt alternators and you know that BMS suddenly disconnects and the external regulator doesn't get a message to reduce or eliminate the field on the alternator, those 48 volt alternators are producing current or voltages in excess of 400 volts. Definitely some potential there to cause some arcing. And that's one of the reasons why you can't really use an external regulated secondary alternator feeding into this unless you get creative and find a workaround. So the PowerLink offers a lot of other connectivity, especially when it comes to managing the whole ecosystem within your van or your RV, for instance, if you're doing uh, tank sensors and things like that. On the topic of alternator charging, the alternator input on the original power kit is limited to 70 amps. One of the improvements on power kit two is it goes up to 100 amps or a 2000 watt maximum. So if you're using a 48 volt externally regulated secondary alternator, you're able to get and max out that 2000 watts. The solar inputs are still going to be restricted to 60 volts or 30 amps or a max of 1600 watts per channel. And it still has two or a total of three channels, one being an alternator specific channel or PV. And then you have your PV1 and PV2 inputs for solar after that. Another benefit of the parallel hub that allows you to run 45 kilowatt hours is it actually has an input for the XT150 cable, which means if you have a Delta Pro extra battery, a Delta 2 Max extra battery, a Delta 2 Max, a Delta Pro, you can actually plug that into that hub and use power from that battery or charge and manage it directly from the power kit. All right, guys, that sums up the new power kit two coming from EcoFlow. If you have any questions, email us at customercare at rackupgo.com or give us a call at 888-929-3149. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.